Hey, hey, family. Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing now? It's been a lot going on and I want to talk about some things. I just want to give you my thoughts and some things that's been going on and a couple of questions that's being asked, you know, that's being talked about on YouTube in reference to Melody, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about Melody, a little bit about Carlos you know, and the flying monkeys, whoever else I choose to throw up in it. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know I still got this little cold. <clears throat> but anyway, um, let's talk about Carlos King first, okay? So, um, Messi King seems to be going through some things because I feel like Karma and Dharma has come to get his ass. That's what I feel like, okay? Because it looks like his shows are not doing well. Now we know that LAMH is his is the highest rating show on the own network, or they say Discovery Child, whoever it is now. And I believe Discovery bought own or something. Anyway, <clears throat> it's the highest rating uh, rated show out of his shows. Hey, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what I have noticed that has been going on on social media and some of the rumors and just other things. I just want to give you my thoughts, okay? And after this video, I want you to also give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments because, you know, I love to read the comments. Anyway, back to Messy King. So Messy King's show is not doing well. We know LAMH has a huge following and it does way better than the other shows. So DC has been on and DC suck, okay? The same old storyline that nobody wants to hear. You want a mean girl on there. You want the women to fight with each other, child, the same old thing because he has a one track mind. All he wants to do, in my opinion, opinion is see women fight and tear each other down that's what i that's my opinion okay bell collective same thing okay a bunch of toxic men and women tearing each other down child that's all he has going on in that brain of his well the new show bold and bougie i think that's what it's called child i don't know i don't remember the name that's how uninterested i am in the show nonetheless that show is not doing good either okay the ratings suck and people have been saying, well, you know, it's a new show. It's going to take time and all that. Well, I beg to differ. I feel like with his reputation, he does not have the support because people are starting to see him for who he really is. See, you know, when you're a snake, you can't hide but so long before people start to see that you're striking. And that's what he has been doing with the channels that he struck, right? Now it's getting around with the help of another content creator, okay, that's been spreading it around. For whatever reason she's doing it, she still has put that information out there. Now, I know you all have said you don't trust her and neither do I. However, she put it out there, and so I think it's a good thing that it has left just this, this side of YouTube with the millimeters, and it has, you know, went out to other people as well, okay? And so he is not doing well. His shows are not doing well. I shouldn't say he's not doing well. He's not doing well as a producer, okay? But he his shows are not doing well, and I don't know how long, you know, they're going to keep him around if he cannot perform and he cannot get bring the network money. Now, you remember the show he had, what was it, Chicago, not Chicago, hold on, Detroit or whatever. That, I think it was Detroit, right? Child, I'm so in, uninterested. I can't even remember which shows they are in the name of them, okay? I have to really think hard. Okay, Love Emerge Detroit, I think it was. Where is that show? Then he had that other show, the gospel show. Where is that show? What's interesting to me is the show that is doing well because of the star of his show, Melody Cherie. That fool don't want her, in my opinion, he doesn't want her to be the leading lady, nor does he want us melometers, okay? But you know, you can't get rid of us. Unless you get rid of Mel, we ain't going nowhere, child. We're going to be right here working your damn nerves the same way you work our nerves. So from what's being said, um, his shows are not doing well, and I don't know how much longer they're going to be around. We also know that Melody, let's talk about Melody, okay? Because Melody has a lot going on like she always does. She's doing a meetup with, you know, the Melometers because, you know, he did that little raggedy meetup that he did for whatever reason, child. I just felt like it was a setup. 
And I felt like, you know, he knew he never had any intentions on doing any tour. He set that up so he can get some money and that he could specifically get the bag from the Melometers because, you know, he really can't stand us. Right. Even though he want to talk about we some mellow drops, honey, we not no mellow drops, nothing. I think, you know, with his wicked sick twisted mind i believe he does not care for women especially black women because from what i see any black woman that i see him partnering up or coming to interview or whatever to me it's more beneficial to him than it is to the women that's interviewing with him and in my mind that's a user honey that's what i call it a user if i'm not going to benefit more than you and i'm the person that's interviewing and i'm the star of whatever you know you got me on I feel like you're just using that person. And why don't he ever, why don't he go get a group of men so that he can interview these black males out here? You know, go and get the men that look like him and do some interviews with with them. Why is he always getting the women? Why he's always riding on the women's back? You know who that reminds me of? That reminds me of O Hotel. Okay, and them snots, man. That's what that reminds me of. Anytime you have a man that rides off of the back of women, they are users. And a lot of times men that ride off the back of women don't like women because the women are a constant reminder that you are a failure unless you are riding on the back of a woman. Men don't like things like that, okay? And I believe that's why he's resentful. Just my opinion, I feel like he's resentful. That's what I feel like. And um, hold on, hold this thing. Okay. I feel like he's resentful. I feel like he wanted to be the star and Melody took his shine. And there's more talks about Melody than there is about Messy King. And he has a problem with it, Okay. Now, we want to talk a little bit about these so-called fake conferences that, you know, his flying monkeys had. Because at this point, you know, I said that that group of people were flying monkeys for Martel. I'm going to have to add that they're also flying monkeys for Messy King. Because what I believe is Messy King and Hotel both are narcissistic men. And, you know, narcissists can work together until they turn on each other. But if they have a common enemy in mind, okay, or target, which will be Melody, they will work together so that they can destroy their target. And that's what it looks like has been happening to me. So Messy King is over there, in my opinion, helping out those worthless people that's on his cast, you know, so they can do their, uh, these little conferences or get together child. I don't know what they call those expos or whatever, you know, because you know, the, the snots have an expo and hotel has an expo and I'm going to do a different video on hotel and that woman that he partnered up with. Cause see women like her child, they will know about men and they will still try to help the men. Now I'm not saying this is the case with that lady, but I would think that she would do her due diligence and do research to figure out who this man is. Now she probably didn't set her ass right there and watch that show and know everything that's going on. She's probably a pygmisha, honey. I know one thing she's single, honey, and trying to mingle. Yeah, I've been looking all on her social media pages, okay? So, you know, to each his own, can, people can do whatever they want to do. But I just want to bring it to, you know, the Melometer's attention about the things that I feel and what I see. Okay, this is just my opinion. This is what I feel and what I see. And because I love to come and talk to the family, I just wanted to come and talk to you all to tell you my thoughts, okay, on what's going on. Since the show is off, I decided I would come and I would do a little bit of commentary, basically my thoughts and opinions about things. And I think I'll do these more often because I'd rather like coming on here, talking to you all, and then reading your comments, right? I am going to be doing a separate video about hotel and that the the lady I think her name is Tawana that he's doing the uh conference or expo whatever it's called child I tell you when I'm not interested in these people 
I don't even be knowing what exactly they call in these. I, I, I'm assuming it's a conference, expo, conference, whatever, all the same. Y'all know what I'm talking about, event, something like that. But nevertheless, Mel has her own event going on. So she's going to be doing a get together with the Melamita's child. And so Mel is, uh, you know, she's turned this negative thing that Messy King intentionally, in my opinion, made negative, And she's turning that thing around as she should so that the Melamitas can come to a safe space and they don't have to worry about anybody getting their personal information and doing God knows what with it. The message that was sent to me. Now, I don't know whose channel this came from, but you know, the family likes to keep me well informed about things. Y'all send me so much stuff that I can't halfway get to all of it, but keep sending it to me though, okay? Because I'm nosy and I really want to know what's going on. But there were two things that were talked about, that's been talked about on social media that I kind of want to clear the air about, you know, and, and and give you some information because this is what Mel put and someone sent it to me because they were on somebody's page. One of the things was about Mel being in court because it's being reported or so what people are saying is that um, she's supposed to be going to court or Anthony is supposed to be taking her to court, right? Well, according to Mel, Mel says she's not going to court with anybody. She does not have any outstanding cases. Nothing has been sent to her to go to court other than her going to court with Martel. So I don't know if he intends on filing something to have her in court or if he's just talking, but I'm telling you what Melody said. And like I said, I'm going to try to put this clip up here, okay, um, so that you can see what I'm talking about. Melody said she is not going to court with anybody. She does not have a court case with anybody. Melody also said, that she was not told it was also said that, that the group was told not to mention any bloggers um even some people said that they were not supposed to talk to bloggers and so as you can see melody's message is here again i'm not sure where the message came from it was sent to me but this is melody when she comes into our chat so this is what she said it was not told to her and she said that's not something that was told to her. Now, here's my take on the situation. I believe that that is something that could be told to the rest of the, the cast on LAMH because they are all flying monkeys, okay? They're flying monkeys. You know, they go out and do all the things to me that Hotel and Messy King wants them to do. So I believe that Messy King, the puppet master, okay, the messy puppet master, I believe that whatever he tells them to do, they do. Because remember, he said they call him, he's like their daddy. He said that I didn't. So he said he talked to them every single day. That's what he said, child. It's on one of them videos over there. So I believe that they do have conversations when it comes to mail. And I do believe that they do make their plans behind the scenes so that they can all, you know, be in, in cahoots together so that they can try to take the shine off of her. Even though it has not worked, when it comes to a narcissistic person, Sorry about that. When it comes to a narcissistic person, it doesn't matter if it works or not because they're going to keep trying. Just like we talked about hotel and how he's not going to stop. I have a video over on my channel talking about the narcissist, okay, and why they will not leave that person alone. It's the same thing when you deal with a narcissistic person and you're not in a or you weren't in a intimate relationship with them, okay? When you're when you're a good supply for them, and they're able to use you to benefit them, they don't want to let you go. That's just my opinion, okay? All of this is alleged, and in my opinion, I'm just giving y'all my thoughts and the things that I'm thinking about, okay? I will be coming on here a little more to give you my thoughts. I feel like that Messy King is getting Karma and Dharma. I believe Karma and Dharma is visiting him. That's what I believe. I believe they're sitting right outside his door and they're waiting for him because they're going to give him everything that he deserves. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Didn't Mel say that she was prophesied to for every demon, 10 blessings or something like that? Because we've seen this lady get blessed over and over and over again. So I just don't understand. I'm sorry. Yes, I do. They're narcissistic and child, they demons. Demons don't stop. They don't sleep.
So Messy King, along with Hotel, probably go to bed thinking about this woman and coming up with whatever plan they're going to come up with. In my opinion, if Messy King had any damn sense, he would just go on ahead and let Melody do whatever she wants and stop trying this little nonsense and these little games is being played because... LAMH is the only show that he's has that's succeeding. And he's only succeeding at that is because we come to watch Mel. And the moment that Mel goes, we go. And that is, in my opinion, going to be the majority of the people that's watching. They're watching because of her. That's just how I feel. Why y'all think? Why do y'all think most of the people are watching? I'm just saying. Even with me saying that, I just don't feel like this is going to stop. As long as Mel is on the show, I don't think it's ever going to stop. You have a bunch of jealous, envious child demons on this show. And the men are the worst. They are worse than the women. But the men are the ones that's putting the battery in the back of these women. And the women don't care for Mel, okay? Now, I told y'all this before, and I'm going to say this again. Let me throw the Fletchers up in here. Because I've never cared for the Fletchers, especially Nell. Because Nell has done some things that's always been questionable to me when it comes to her being Melody's friend. So what I think is happening right now is he's trying to elevate the Fletchers to be front and center. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. So we're going to have to look out for the Fletchers and see what happens next season, right? I'm looking forward to next season. I was going to go ahead and just, you know, try to exit quietly and go on by my business. But, you know, I feel like it's not time for me to leave just yet. So I will be doing my commentary like I normally do. And I'll be just dropping my thoughts here. Um, and uh, let me say this before I go. Thank you all so much for supporting me when it comes to the YouTube training and the ebook that I have. If you haven't heard... I do teach how to become a content creator. I have a ebook as well that you can purchase and I have a bundle deal where you can get one training session with me and the ebook or you could just take the classes. But if you're trying to be a content creator, reach out to me at the silver talk show at gmail.com. Okay. The it's also in the description of any of my emails. You can drop me an email and tell me what it is that you would like, whether it's the training, one-on-one -on -one training, or you like a, a copy of the ebook. Just let me know what you want, okay? And I'll send you some information. So I just wanted to come on here briefly, child. This was supposed to be 10 minutes. That just tell me I talk too damn much, okay? But anyway, y'all like it. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you all so much for always supporting me. Oh, and I am going to be having a video over there on my other channel, which is called Unveiled Love with Day Silver. It's also in the description of any of my videos. If you want to come over there and join us, I'm going to be running a series over there for a few days in reference to this lady and her relationship issue, you know, that has come to an end. But over there, that's a platform where we can talk about relationship topics without bringing in Love and Merch Huntsville. I want to keep these these two channels separate, okay? This is Love and Merch Huntsville Celebrity News on the Silver Silver channel, but on the other channel, it will not be anything Love and Merch Huntsville or Celebrity News. It would just be everyday people like you and I and their situations. Also, if you have a story that you want to come and tell over there on the other channel, please feel free to reach out to me and we can have a meeting and you we can talk about the story to see if it fits the channel, okay? So thank you so much. I will be talking to you all in another video soon. Bye, family. You do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try. I used to wonder why, but now I'm left with no more tears to cry. I know
belongs to all that you do It's only right, it's what I deserve Love, tell me what you're doing 